Hi everybody. In this part of the series I would like to, so, to show another example of how to achieve something starting with a 2D plane. So let me first make a circle with 12 edges and I make it 12 by 12 millimeters and zero out the position. Drop the tool, hit the A key to center the view, then go to poly mode, select this polygon, hit the B key and bevel it in about so. Shift click to reactivate the bevel tool, bevel it in and hit delete. Drop the tool. <coughs> Pardon me. Now I select all these polys and hit delete. Edge mode select these two edges, hit the set key for edge extend, click in the viewport and bring them out to about here, shift click and bring out to about, doesn't really matter, so I select these two edges and hit the bridge tool, drop the tool, I have to six edges here and only three here so I need another three in here Alt Z with a count of three about so drop the tool now I select these edges and deselect the outer two bridge the rest together drop the tool hit <coughs> Double click these edges, hit the P key for polygon. Now I go to edge mode, add loop. This is something you only have in modo 501 or higher. And add a loop in here. Drop the tool. Now I can get rid of some edges here. I will create an end gone, but that's no problem at all. And I don't need this one anymore. Now I select all these edges here, Alt 1 to convert them to words, hit the R key and even them out a bit, like so. Drop the tool, <coughs> go to perspective, select all these polygons, hit the X key for polygon X and bring it out about to here. Drop the tool, center everything in the middle and now let's add some edges here. Alt C with a count of two about so. Drop the tool. Alt C here. Drop the tool. Now let's see what we got. Um, let's select all these polys, no, only these, shift up arrow, hit delete, <coughs> I have 22 edges, so I need a circle then with 22 edges, but first let me select these two edges alt 1 to convert them to words hit the r key and even them out a bit as well okay now go to right view make a circle with 22 edges about the size of about this size. 12.5 sounds not bad. And zero out everything here. Perspective. Bring it out. Drop the tool. Select this polygon. Hit the X key. Extrude it out and hit the delete key to get rid of both 
front and end polygons. Now go to edge mode, select all these edges and select all these edges and bridge them together. Now let's see how this looks. We need to harden some edges, so edge mode, add loop, certainly one here, drop the tool, Alt C in here, maybe not as hard, maybe 10%. Ah, that looks much better already. <coughs> we don't need the grid anymore. Now I add another loop in here and go to poly mode, select two polys here, L for loop, hit the B key for bevel, click in the viewport, blue handle, bring this out like oh, so, drop the tool. Now I add another loop in here, about so. Go to edge mode, select this edge, W key for the move tool and move this one back, about so. Select an edge in here, Alt C with a count of two, but not, but only about so. Drop the tool, select two polys in this new ring, hit the L key, hit the B key for bevel, bevel it in with the blue handle, drop the tool. Now we need to harden some edges, so select two edges here, up arrow, up arrow, up arrow, Alt C again, count of two, but about six percent, that sounds good. So just some more edges need hardening, this one, Alt C, like so and then add single loops here and shift click here drop the tool and now we can get rid of these polys here so l delete and here we are now if you want to uh, the to fake this rubber lip which uh, hydraulic pistons usually have you can loop select these polygons hit the M key for material give them a dark material like something so okay OK, and then you have the impression <coughs> as if you would see this rubber lip. And here we are, it's finished. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye.